Hello and welcome to the return of Storytime with Rivers. It's been a while since I last sat in front of my computer and talked about things people may or may not care about to people who may or may not be there. I don't know about you guys, but it's taken me a long time to readjust back to Uncharted 3, so I've had very few matches that are worth posting, which is partly why it's taken so long to get another video out. I've also moved house, but we'll get onto that later. This is the Desert Village, a very close quarters combat style map. Very obvious high-low divide, so if you're on the lower section and can't find anyone, you know with some certainty they'll be up top or vice versa. Get that shotgun away from me, you fiendish little monkey. We're actually playing a few Uncharted 2 veterans here, and to their credit, they put up a great fight. They really gave us a run for our money. At any moment, it could have gone either way. And this is the first truly close match I've had in the current multiplayer. I don't often get to carry a team, but I've done pretty well here. I'm finding the aiming very tricky still. Sometimes I'm pinpoint accurate, and other times I'm shamefully bad. I always find it a bit difficult to shoot at someone who's at a different height to you. Something I struggled with in Uncharted 2 a lot as well. There's been a lot of talk on the Naughty Dog forums and various other gaming related forums about upping the stopping power, but I really don't think that's the biggest issue with the multiplayer right now. I feel if they reduce the blind fire accuracy, we could have a much more stress free game. I've actually fast forwarded a lot in this match because there's a lot of downtime where not very much is happening, so let's take a look at someone else. And here is River's moment of the match, provided by Dear Fig Newton. Lovely, keeping it classy. Anyway, gather round you lucky things you, it's story time. After six months of delays we've finally moved into our new house. I remember back when we first visited the area and my first impressions were, this looks sort of third world. I imagine the people born here will die here without ever leaving their postal codes. I'll probably get stabbed. On the plus side, for no apparent reason, there was an ambulance parked outside the house, which was reassuring, but at least I'll have a ride to the hospital. There are two houses next to each other that literally look like they've been bombed and or set on fire. Think a localized atomic bomb that's only affected the space of two houses. Check this out, there's some voodoo lag going on here. Kills me in about four bullets, all blind fired. All of the new homes here have been recently built and each of them has a different brightly coloured front door. You know, to reinforce community spirit. Because if there's one thing that deters gangbangers and drug dealers, is a colourful front door. It looks a bit like a futuristically half-assed Balamori. And if you haven't been exposed to the delight that is Balamori, Google it, you can thank me later. The house has nice rooms, plenty of space, and a distinguishing red stain on one of the stairs that I'm told isn't blood. I knew the moment I had dropped down here I was dead. This was a situation that couldn't possibly go well. Ugh, the removal men, they were a joke. They're the people you call when you want someone else to chuck, drop, or steal your stuff. Would you believe it, one of them had the cheek to complain his knees ached because he had to carry things up and down stairs. I think he's misunderstood his job description. Right here I go for the blind fire melee. I'm not proud of it, but I thought if I didn't do it, he would. I'd throw back his dropped grenade and kick this guy out of here. <laughs> I love the grenade throwback mechanic by the way, I think that's probably the best addition. Stupidly try and blind fire melee this guy. After all, it worked out great for him before, but sometimes the rules don't apply to some people. Like any responsible person should do before moving house, I checked to see how close the nearest schools were in my area, to make sure the little punks that attend them were as far away from me as possible. For no reason at all, the internet took two weeks to connect, and can you imagine my disappointment when I found out I'd have to do regular pre-internet things for two weeks? There wasn't a JPEG of a bosom in sight. Laggy guy either leaves or lags out of the game, and we're tied up on points now, so we've got to be careful. Both teams are playing very defensively. 
I always try and make a point of aiming at people even when they're charging towards me. I think blind fire should be a last resort only and not the alternative playstyle Naughty Dog wants it to be. And if left stick R1 punch is your idea of fun then feel free to disagree. Just remember you're wrong. No one ever wants to be the guy who lets the team down. And throughout a lot of this match, I thought I might be that guy. But not tonight, baby. Tonight, Rivers dines with Kings. We don't want it to go into overtime, because that's basically like playing a miniature match all over again and the camping is going to be phenomenal. For once in his life, near Rivers carries a team. Good game. Oh yeah, the rest of the story. Then I walked out of the bathroom and almost stepped on a cat. Thing is, I don't own a cat. We stared at each other for about 5 seconds, and it fixed me a glare that quite clearly said, Well then, one of us is going to have to leave. 